Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial on this eye look right here. I absolutely love how this came out. Mm, I'm all about it. And I used the Makeup Revolution. This is the Precious Stone Rose Quartz Palette. We're gonna get into that here in just a second. But first, I wanna take a minute to welcome you to my video and my channel if you guys are new and this is your first time here. Welcome, my name is Lauren Jade, I'm 57. I have mature, crepey, wrinkly skin with hooded eyes that are slightly downturned. So all of my tutorials kind of center around that eye shape because that is what I have. And that is what I was born with, so I'm always looking for ways to rock this hooded eye. And I know we all have different eye shapes and different levels of hoodedness, but I'm hoping you guys can pick up some tips and tricks along the way. You might have to adjust, you know, depending on your eye shape and kind of tweak things a little bit, but I'm always looking for ways to pass my learning on to you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it. So with that said, if you are new, I would love to have you join me. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. That way YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload. So with that said, let's get into this eye look and this palette. So this is the Precious Stone Rose Quartz palette. Looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. This palette comes in like, I think there was like a five different Precious Stones. There was an Amethyst, a Ruby, a diamond, I think, and an emerald. Um, don't quote me, but yeah, several different um, types. And again, this is the rose quartz, and I bought this literally like the second I seen it. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I will link it below um, and also put it in the description box because I post a lot of like mini looks there and you know mini hauls and just little lot of little makeup stuff that you're just not going to see here on youtube so yeah um and i did post a little mini haul that i got i got several different makeup revolution palettes and i posted that so yeah all right so we're going to keep this intro short if you guys want to see how i created this look with this palette then just keep watching and let's get right into this tutorial all right, I'm going to prime my eyes using my Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm wanting to use my P. Louise base, but I'm kind of hanging on to that. So I'm just going to, and I'm using my P. Louise brush. I just got some new brushes of hers that I ordered on the Morphe site today. So I'm excited to get those because I really love this one. So I am just going to put down a little bit of this primer here and then I'm going to set this base P. Louise style and I'm going to grab my elf brush and I think I'm going to use the shade nude here just to kind of set this base P. Louise style as per usual and I'm just going to place this everywhere where I'm planning to place some shadow just kind of buff it out out here in case you're wondering what is in my hair, I got these clips at Ulta, and I just think they're cool. It's kind of like little hair decorations, you know? It kind of gets your hair out of your face and just kind of decorates and add a little bit of sparkle, and they are the tiniest, I'm hoping you guys can see, they are the tiniest little clips ever. If you guys have been following me, you guys know that I have kind of said bye-bye to that old translucent powder method of setting the base. I'm just adding a little bit extra kind of up in here because it's a light skin tone friendly shade. I'm going to grab a little bit of this lighter shade up here and just kind of put that up towards the brow bone. There's a light kind of a peachy nude shade. Just going to kind of dust that up there. All right, so I've got my Cheek Leader Bronze Squad palette here. I'm going to grab my Hoola Bronzer, and I'm using a MAC 286 for this. I'm just going to dust a tiny bit up here in this upper section right here, push it up towards the brow, and kind of connect it with the nose contour just to kind of sculpt out this area right in through here. That's kind of what I really like to do with the bronzer. I just kind of dust the rest of it out here and it just kind of connects into the temple. But that's really pretty much what I do with this step. I just, I love to get that nice sultry fade in the beginning. It just really kind of softens everything. 
and kind of ties everything together and you really kind of start to sculpt out your shape while you're doing this so kind of has a multi-purpose use for me Instagram, you guys know that I've been talking about this palette for a while. This is the Precious Stone Rose Quartz. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys seen all of the um, Makeup Revolution palettes that I posted as of late because I got a little mini haul yesterday and I posted like several new palettes as well as some of the new, um, I got this thing at Ulta the other day, this um, Tarte Thing. It's fairly new, I guess. These things are really cool. They kind of remind me of the, um, and you get three of these, and they're all different shades, and they're all usable. Like, I just loved all of them. Um, came in this one, and this one. I'm not going to open them all up, but you guys can check that out on their website. It has a little mirror right here, so I can't wait to play in these, because all of these shades in here just are totally up my alley. All right, so I'm gonna stick with that same brush, the MAC 286. I'm gonna take this shade right here, Nectarine. And I'm going to start by putting it in the center here. And I'm just taking this kind of in, kind of I'm staying right in the socket, but I'm taking it in and then I am really starting to build some shape and then I'm just going to buff this out. I'm really excited about this cut crease today because this is one of my favorite looks ever. It really adds structure and definition and really defines and gives my eyes some shape. And this is literally one of my favorite looks to do. So I'm super excited about Doing this today, I've been wanting to do this look for a while, so here we are today, finally, yay! I'm going to do my favorite step in the whole process ever. This is literally like my favorite step to do, and I'm going to create my fake crease, and then I'm going to build, so basically I'm kind of building from the inside, and I'm going to be building up. So once I kind of get this crease kind of shaped out exactly as I want it, I'm going to add a little bit more color and then I'm going to buff and blend that upward so that I have that gradient to fade from kind of light to like the deepest darkest shade which will be kind of right at the baseline of the crease and you guys will see what I'm talking about so I'm going to take this shade right here burnt I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've actually done a cut crease so I just really wanted to do this for a while so I'm starting as always in the center right above my where my pupil is right in the middle and I'm taking this a few millimeters above my natural crease now kind of depending on where your natural crease is you might um, need to adjust um, for your eye shape mine it works so that because you want to be able to see this crease when your eyes are open and you're looking straight ahead so for me that's taking it about two to three millimeters above where my natural crease is. So I am really hollowing out basically this shape. And I'm taking it from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. This is literally like my favorite shape because I really get in there and really give my eye that shape. And when I get out here to the end, I'm just going to, I'm not really gonna wing this out. Um, with this look, I'm just kind of taking it straight down, kind of out here to the end. I'm not gonna be winging this out. So this is what I've got going on. I've got my fake crease. Now I this is literally like a go-to look for me. Um, a lot of times I will just kind of buff out this line, add a little bit of bronzer in here, maybe a little extra bronzer, and just kind of follow the shape that I created. 
here with this fake crease and then put a little shimmer on the lid and do a tiny little you know um smudgy smoky shadow wing and uh, boom i am like done and that's like my go-to look all right so once you have your crease that you're happy with now you can do this crease with any kind of brush you can use like an m433 from morphe you can use you know just like a, a some kind of a smudger almost like a shader brush but i like to use this angle brush it just gives me the shape a lot easier all right i'm going to go back into nectarine which is the first shade that i use and i'm going to use a c510 this is a crown brush 510 brush and i'm going to just go right on top of that fake crease line and then I'm going to go back to that first fluffy brush that I used, which was the MAC 286. And I'm just going to lightly kind of go over. I don't have any product on the brush. I'm just going to kind of start to kind of go up and just kind of feather this out. Just make it really soft. I want everything to be concentrated on the actual crease so I'm not taking this color up too high I'm gonna go back in and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but this is a Sigma e65 it's just a winged liner brush and I'm just gonna go back in and I'm going to deepen up again that base so when I say the base I mean the bottom portion of that crease line so what is right next to the lid that very base part I'm just gonna go back in and just get that nice and deep then I'm gonna go back and take that other brush that I just used the crown brush and just kind of feather out and up the edges I don't want to mess with the baseline I just want to Make sure that I have that gradient to fade from light to dark. All right, so if you guys are following me at home, the, I don't wanna say the hard part, but the main section now is done. So now I'm gonna go into star and I'm just gonna use this NYX. It's just a double-ended, um, it's like a shader brush and then on the other end, you've got a really dense fluffy brush, but this shader brush is pretty dense as well. And I'm gonna just carve out my lid space. And I'm doing a full cut crease, so I'm taking this all the way. All right, now I'm gonna grab my NYX shadow base. You guys know how much I love this. This is literally like a do or die for me. Like this is like a ride or die item and I'm just going to kind of drag this downward from the top I love this um, NYX shadow base for carving out my crease because whatever I put down on the lid is just going to a pop because it is white so it's an amplifier you guys know that I literally use this religiously in every single tutorial that I do. And I'm going to use this gold dust shade right here. And then I'm going to go into this shade. You'll see what I'm going to do with that shade. I'm going to start this out by getting this exactly where I want it with the brush which actually look at um, how good that pigment is because I laid down that NYX shadow base if I did not have that base you would literally need to use your finger to get that color to pop but because I use that shadow base you can see see just like you can see it pop 
All right, now I'm going to take this baby doll shade, which is this really uh, super light, glittery, metallic-y type of shade. And I'm going to place this higher up. So kind of like running it right along this edge right here. about Makeup Revolution is I have found for the most part that in a palette, it just seemed like no matter which one it was, it maybe could just be the ones that I have gotten. I find that for the most part, you have everything that you need to kind of create a full look and you don't have to kind of double dip, you know what I mean, into other palettes. So I'm going to go into some of these darker shades now and I'm going to just kind of do a little smoky, smudgy shadowing. I think I'm going to take brownie. I'm going to start with that. So I'm using my Makeup Forever flat definer brush and I'm just going to kind of stamp this right along the lash line. I'm going to be very careful because I do have some shimmers and some glitters on the lid so I can't just smoke and smudge like I do when I would have a matte on there, right? So I got to kind of be a little bit more careful and just kind of Tap that on there. Gonna wiggle it in the lash line here as well and yeah and I'm just gonna make it really kind of thin on the inner corner actually I'm gonna switch back to my angled liner brush because that one is easier for me to get on the inner corner So just kind of have a little wing out here and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it in here. So just kind of a nice little, little wing right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I did this look um, yesterday, I think it was, and I posted it on my Instagram, and I did a mauve with like a silver, um, like a silver um, wing like at the, at the base, kind of like on the border right where the shimmer right here is butting up right next to my crease. And I did this with silver, and it was so beautiful, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade midnight cowboy and you know what i'm just gonna line the edge because why not i'm just gonna line this edge right here Can you see that pop? Oh, so pretty, so pretty. I just love working with this heavy metal glitter liner. It's so easy to work with. just stunning I'm really not sure if I want to mess with these false eyelashes because honestly like I have to as always I'm going to kind of get going but I am going to 
deepen up. I'm going to wiggle this in between the lashes and I'm going to kind of deepen up with this darker shade called Ember and just kind of deepen up that little wing just to add a little bit more depth and dimension to the eye look and to the lashes. Of pulling that out a little bit into that cat eye as always and then just bringing it back in to kind of connect it now I do like to connect the wing to the lower lash line smoke however because my eyes are slightly downturned I also like when I bring it back in and connect it I like to do that just like a couple millimeters before the actual lash line ends. I feel like that really kind of helps to give me that lifted eye effect a little bit more. It's going to kind of turn that up there. I am just going to clean up out here. I don't know. The last couple times, you guys, you know, I've been forgetting to do my little bit of baking and kind of just set this whole under eye area, which is what I like to do because it kind of, you know, sets your concealer. You do a little bit of baking and at the same time, you're really kind of helping to catch fallout. Just kind of cleans everything up. I don't know, I've been kind of forgetting that lately. All right, that's better. Look how stunning that is. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love this, like, oh! All right, guys, so that completes the look using the Makeup Revolution Precious Stone Rose Quartz Palette. All right, guys, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one.